right, you guys. So last week on my Instagram, Stu and I went pink and you guys loved it. And I got so many requests for a tutorial on how we did it. So I somehow convinced my sister who hates pink to do it. And that's what we're doing today. So I used the viral shampoo. It's called Color Wash by Celeb Luxury. And I always use two different tones when I do this. I use the pastel pink and the rose gold. The one that looks a little darker brown is the rose gold and the brighter one is the pastel pink. I like to mix these half and half because then it's like the perfect in-between rosy shade. If you were just to do pastel pink on its own, it would be a little more hot pink. And then the rose gold is a little bit darker than I would like. So mixing them together makes like the perfect, perfect pink combo. So the most important thing to remember when doing this is to saturate really well. What we did first was we washed her hair to clarify it and get it really clean. And then I did the pink shampoo. And as you can see here, I am just rubbing it in. I kind of go section by section, especially since she has extensions. Uh, you got to make sure that you just get everything saturated because especially with extensions or the thicker the hair is, the easier it is to miss spots. So it's just really important to keep saturating. And as you can see here, I'm even adding a little bit more in as I run out just to make sure that everything's getting touched. If you are doing this with hair extensions, keep in mind that extensions are more porous and they will take it a lot quicker than your own hair. So you can see here that I'm doing her own hair after I did the extensions. I got the extensions all done, I rinsed them and now I'm adding it to her own hair and then I'm mixing it all together. The reason I did the extensions first is because I wanted to watch them very carefully and make sure that I wasn't doing her own hair and then letting it fall into the extensions and then they would go more vibrant. So doing it section by section like this is really important and don't mind all of her tapes here in her hairline it's kind of hard to hide in when we're back in the bowl this way and she has them pretty close to the front of her head because she likes fullness there um yeah so i'm just kind of rinsing it through right here and i would say there's no like set amount of time that you want to leave this on i would just say a good rule of thumb is the less time you leave it on the less vibrant it's going to be and the more time you leave it on the more vibrant it will be. For her, I just kind of mixed it through and let it sit for about five minutes as I was saturating and we got like the perfect blushy rose color. And in a minute, you're gonna see my hair. We left it on a little bit longer and it was definitely more vibrant. One thing to remember about this shampoo is it does have sulfates in it, which is not recommended for extensions. It will dry your hair and your extensions out, which is why I am using Olaplex right here. Olaplex is a great thing to use to add moisture and hydration back into the hair. So if you are using this, I would make sure to use Olaplex right after or a deep conditioner of your choice. As long as it's a professional brand, you want to make sure that you're constantly using hydration. I wouldn't recommend this um, for clients that have extensions that are brand new. Typically what I do is I use this when my extensions are on their last leg. So me and my sister both were getting new extensions next month. So we decided to do this, you know, as like a fun little hurrah before we got new hair. I got sent a fun little package by Living Proof. So I did use the shampoo and conditioner on her. I'm using the perfecting spray, this instant defrizzer, the blow dry spray. And I loved all of them, to be honest, you guys. It was really fun to use these products because I had only ever used their dry shampoo and I love that. And using their other products did not disappoint. And I also love that I have them in travel size because that's so convenient for when I'm on the road. So here we are just blow drying her hair and you guys can see the difference in her color and my color since we left hers on not as long it's kind of more of like a pale pink and we left mine on significantly longer probably 15 minutes and it's definitely more of a hot pink after I washed it a few times it faded to what her color is now so just kind of keep that in mind if you're going for more of a vibrant look leave it on longer and then as you wash it it will fade I would say that this fades completely out of the hair within two to three weeks just depending on how often you do wash your hair
Okay, so we are now styling her, just giving her some beach waves. This is such a fun way to get a temporary color. A lot of times, um, I think clients get scared that colors like this are super permanent. And um, fashion colors are always, you know, pretty quick to wash out. They don't hang on as long. And there are things you can use, like this shampoo is typically used to refresh a fashion color. So if you decide to color it with like Pulp Riot or anything like that, then these shampoos are really good for maintenance. But for me and my sister, we just kind of wanted to do it for fun for a few weeks. And these shampoos are the perfect way to do that because it's no commitment. So I will put all the info of their Instagram and where you can find them in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of her pink hair. I think it looks incredible and don't mind my no makeup face. I looked awful in this video, but I really wanted to film it for you guys. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.